everyone, and welcome to our new episode of The Three Whiskeyteers, the show that likes to share our whiskey and have a lot of fun. Uh, my name's Jamie, I'm your host. We have our angel here, hipster Curtis, his son, Burn, and the happy hunter, and Eddie. Now, Curtis, today we have... Special guest. Special guest. Yeah, mm-hmm. we have a live audience today, so don't mind the farts. <laughs> so, Burn, you want to introduce yep. not only the live audience... Yes, yes. No, I cannot. You cannot? Just friends, no. friends of the show. Friends, friends, of, the friends show. of the show. Hot women, really hot women. And I'm wearing orange today because we are under construction. Great to hear. That's all right. No. Speaking of construction, <laughs> Curtis, it looks like you built us another white wall. Oh, another white wall, yeah. Uh, something I don't I have no idea what you have on here. So what do we got? Let's hit the detour right now. <laughs> well, you know, we, we did, uh, you know, we did Driftless Glen, remember? Yeah. Oh, okay. a few, a few things there. Yeah. Well, then there's this really great craft uh, distillery in Chicago called Caval. Okay. And all of their standard whiskeys came in at one time in the state of Iowa, and I said, Wow, what a great show. Wow. We can do all of their whiskeys at once. Oh, Eddie, come on. Okay, on one, two, three. Kabam. Caval. Caval. <laughs> what do we have? They all look about the same. Same bottles. They all look about the same. Oh, a white whiskey rye. That's a white rye. We have a rye. This is um, their four grain, and it's an unusual collection of four grains because there's no corn in it. We got wheat, we got millet, we got rye. And we got oat. No oat. barley? No barley. They skipped. Oh, I'm sorry. There is barley in that. Okay. They okay. skipped. Uh, I can feel it. Can, corn, you know, yeah. it's by feeling touching the bottle. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is 100% millet. That's going to be different. Yeah. Ooh. This is 100% oat. What's millet? That is, it, that is a grain that's very common in Asia and Africa. Oh, really? Yes. We're and, not invited, I guess. And then we have. Their bourbon, which has to be 51% corn, because what? What They call it bourbon. Legal. They call it bourbon, right? Yeah, and right. then the rest normal. is millet. Oh, really? So, these are like craft, and they're going to be really interesting to try. Um, I'm really excited about the rye, because we have the white dog rye. Yeah, there, boy. And then we'll be able to taste it against the aged rye. I feel like I'm getting an invaded right now. And those are 100% rye, no other grain. Oh, really? okay. Wow. They're holy okay. crap. So they pride themselves as being organic, mm-hmm. uh, grain to glass, mm-hmm. kosher. Oh! Kosher! So, where do you want to start? You want to start with the rye? No, no, no. We'll start, we'll start with the bourbon. <laughs> where do you want to start? Oh, well, let's go over here. No, no. Let's go where I want. <laughs> over there. Well, you don't want to start with an overpowering rye and then move into these. Sure. Okay, okay. Sure, so, sure, so sure. So we have it. We'll, we'll start with the bourbon. Okay. Okay, so we okay, got that, that stuff stops right now. We're 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 awake and going. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you got coffee. <laughs> it's not a good coffee. Okay, okay. Curtis, so, so we the, got the the Caval Caval single barrel bourbon whiskey, fifty one percent corn, and then millet, forty seven percent alcohol by volume, distilled yeah. in Chicago. Distilled in Chicago. I'm getting nervous already. Uh, apparently, they source their barrels from Minnesota. Really? Uh, mm. Oak charred, of course. Oh wow! Yeah, it's incredibly smooth. Really bright. Yeah. Bright's a good word for it. That's something new. <laughs> what do you think, bud? I think um, it's very spicy up front. It's really sweet. Uh, fair, pretty smooth. The burn is actually pretty, uh, it's nice. It's not overtaking my throat, but it's like it's there and it's warming and it's increasing as we go, but I like it. Um, I don't think it's like, I kind of re- it doesn't remind me exactly, but kind of like Knob Creek, they got that strong power. This is kind of like their light version, I would say. Like the flavor medium. profile is, is different than when you normally associate, and that's got to be the millet. Yeah. Oh, that's probably what it is. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bitter. At the very end, but yeah. not that much. I don't think, I wouldn't no. say bitter. I'd no. say it has some I think spicy I like finish. Yeah, I think spicy I'm identifying, I, never, I don't know what millet is exactly, but I think I'm identifying because we had bourbons before, and this, the difference in it, I think, is, the, is what, that millet. Nepal's famous for having a, a millet uh, alcoholic drink mm-hmm. that's basically basically a whiskey. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I'm wondering if, you know, that's what we're tasting there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love it. Absolutely love yeah, it. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. It's Burn. different from a bourbon, though. Uh, I think it's incredibly smooth. Like, at first it was incredibly smooth, then you got, like, a little hint of burn, and after that... 
Yeah, it's really pleasant. I don't have really much of anything negative to say about it. What do our guests think? Anything to contribute? I think between the corn and millet, it almost it, it, it has so much spice at the end when you when you uh, first quaff it that it like it almost borders on like a rye. Uh, That's a good point. But I thought as, that too. It's not as abrasive as like an eagle rare, where it scratches the back of your throat. Instead, it's got a nice warming quality that I thought was really nice. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's that's that spiciness like of the rye at the, the end the does, but <clears throat> this distillery, 2008, started in Chicago. Mm -hmm. They had been experimenting before that, but they actually went in production in, with whiskey. Yeah, okay. in 2008, they have a whole line of gin. They have gins. They have a cranberry gin that I'm really interested in trying, mm. and they also have a caraway liqueur. So maybe we might want to take a trip to Chicago. Ooh, I mean that's an idea. Chi Town, here we come. Yeah. <laughs> so no, but the first cup all I had was probably what three, four, eighteen ninety-five. Yeah, oh, oh. three or four years ago. <laughs> yeah, so we're talking 2015. So it would have mm -hmm. been very early, and maybe 16. It was very early, and I thought, huh, well, it's, it's okay. You know, I didn't think anything really jumped out at me. I mean, I thought it was a decent whiskey. I didn't think it was a fantastic whiskey. But this, this is really out there. Yeah, it looks I, like they, they stepped up their game. I really did. like it. Yeah. So that's all we really got. Yeah, in uh, the work zone. We want to uh, step up our subscriber base. So, Eddie, where would the subscribe button be? Somewhere over here. And that's our call to action for the Great Britannian to carry us out. All for one. And one, one for, for all. all. Bada bing, bada bing. You guys got to contribute to that next time.